Good morning. We are just pulling out of Hastings Village Marina where we spent last night and we're just heading over to the lock which is you could throw a rock and, and hit the lock. It's that close. It's lock 18 here at Hastings. Uh, it'll be the first lock so I'm just kind of tooling around out here in the little bay waiting because the blue line appears to be full and we're going to wait for them to swing the bridge. Um, we were hoping to be away a couple of minutes earlier, but there was at least a half a dozen loopers that were tied up to the lock wall here last night. And uh, all of them except for one, I think, came over to get a pump out, as what we did as well. We got a pump out this morning, so we were the last in line. So we're just waiting for the lock to open and uh, we'll get going through. Another gorgeous sunny hot day. Okay, here is the aforementioned Hastings Village Marina, our fourth time staying here since 2005, I think was the first time we stayed here, with our 30-foot uh, boat, and that is the lock wall right across, because that's the lock. We were hoping to stay there last night, but uh, like I say, it was full, it was packed, jam full of big uh, looper boats, and that I don't know if that last one is just moving or they're just moving ahead. Now the reason that we were gonna initially tie up on the lock wall, as you can see, everything's right there. There's a, a Hasty Market a beer store is right there. Uh, liquor store, there's a grocery store, a fair size grocery store that we've shopped in in the past, just a little bit beyond restaurants and whatnot. It's five after. But it was full. So we have to wait here at the lock because that there's a road swing bridge as you can see and this is a major thoroughfare for the town. It's the only bridge, road bridge that crosses the uh, Trent Summer Canal in this area. So we are uh, having to wait for them to stop the traffic, swing the bridge before they can lock anybody through. And that swing bridge was replaced 100% uh, two years ago I believe, brand new part of the infrastructure improvements. he was going north just because he was come from the south and I said at that time that you're uh, generally heading uh, from Lake Ontario northwest to Georgian Bay or vice versa southeast towards Trenton from Georgian Bay. And I'm just going to say now we are heading southeast 
we are moving in a generally southeast direction, but we are actually heading, look at that, almost due north at this point. Just the way the river and all the rivers and canals twist and turn and going around islands and lakes and whatnot. So something to keep in mind. Again, best practice, you know, on the radio. If you want to tell somebody where, what direction you're going, don't say north, south, east, or west. You say upbound or downbound on the Trent Severn Waterway. For us, we are heading downbound because we are heading lower in elevation, dropping down through the locks. shortly we're going to be uh, entering our next set of locks. Uh, the first one is called the Healy Falls Plate Locks, uh, which is two locks in rapid succession. Like you go into one lock, they drop you and you come out and you're actually in the next uh, section of the lock and then drop it down. And then it gets, that gets followed very quickly by another lock called Healy Falls as well. So don't get confused. Um, but the first one, the first set of flight locks will be the first set that we're gonna hit today. Once there are two on the system, and the next one is gonna be at by um, Campbellford. So hopefully we will get through both sets of those today and a little bit beyond uh, for our destination. Hopefully get it down to lock eight, which is uh, Hague's Reach, I believe. No, Percy Reach, yeah, that's it that looks like a nice quiet spot. We've come through there a few times in the past and it looks like it's well out of the way, so. With any luck again, we'll get there. And soon I'm gonna show you what that big lock looks like. Anchor Girl was just commenting on how few boats again there are today. Uh, we only passed two uh, big loopers and that's it. Now, there were, like I said, there was uh, probably eight at the top of the lock last night so I guess they were all bunched up and there was a bunch of boats at the bottom of the lock who probably well there was three boats that we uh, met up with in Peterborough and they came through yesterday and they sit at the bottom of the lock um, but there was also a couple of bigger boats as well now we are earlier in our boating adventures than traditionally usually we start or we go out for the last two weeks of July or thereabouts um, uh, we started at the first week of July this year, so we're we're just at the beginning stages of where most of the loopers are coming through. Now remember, everybody doing the great loop, not everybody, but a lot of them, uh, they will plan out their their uh, where they're going to be at different times of the year, so that they are back and around to where they got to be, their home port, or you know heading south again before that that terrible thing called winter hits. Now we were talking last night to a gentleman who went with his wife and has done the loop two times aboard their boat, Festivus. <laughs> Festivus for the rest of us! Um, and he was saying that a lot of times uh, the loopers will kind of travel in short sections in clumps with one another. Um, I guess, you know, strength in numbers or whatever. So, um, yeah, I guess there's just starting to come now and then we'll see a lot more over the next two to three weeks as they head through the Trent Sermon Waterway. Big lock ahead. So this is us in the first chamber of this big lock. And then they're gonna drop us down as the uh, lock attendant said, 27 feet into the next one and he's gonna be waiting for us on the other side.
here's something we've never seen in the past. The reflection of the boat on the lock wall. How cool is that? Just shows you how nice and clean this concrete wall is. Nice and wet, it's like a mirror. That is so awesome. through the first chamber which is behind those massive steel doors and into the second one before we pop out and go into uh, the next falls which or sorry next lock which is called Healy Falls lock as well wasn't that cool the reflection of the boat off the lock wall I like that don't know if you can see it but there's a nice light mist of water spraying. See the water is jumping off of that cell plate and it is nice and refreshing. Mind the dot lines. There's that big hydro generating power plant that I was uh, talking about and the tip of the end of that lock and it's only a eh, thousand feet maybe, two thousand feet to the next lock which again is confusingly called Healy Falls <laughs> but I think this is number 14. Got a whole boatload of uh, loopers it looks like coming out of this lock two trawlers and a um, another big cruiser plus one medium sized guy busy load looks pretty though So if you're wondering what all these uh, rags and cloths and blankets are doing on the dash, it's just because the sun is so bright. If that is, see how it reflects off of there? It's blinding. So I put that one there, that one on that acrylic sheet, and that for when I have to reach <laughs> my wife a glass of ice cold water, because that dash is super hot. Not complaining, just saying. at the blue line waiting to lock through here Oops, sorry lock 10 I just shut the blower off so you could hear the birdies stepped on to land just to uh, cleat us off while we're waiting here on the blue line <laughs> I stood on that blue paint for 30 seconds and burnt my feet again So, that resulted in me doing this. Even the water's warm here. Okay, we're just coming into our spot for the night, lock eight, so we did make it. Uh, we're gonna drop down to the bottom side of the lock, just so that we're through for in the morning, we don't have to wait for the lock or do any of that nonsense.
Let's go check it out. Stepping off this beautiful, massive swim platform ultra. Oh, wait, what's the name of the boat again? Boogaboo, that's right. Step up here, avoiding the goose poo, which is kind of everywhere. And that's where we are. It's our home for tonight. Nice view out there into uh, Percy Reach. Look at that. Nice camping spot. I'm just going to show you this real quick. Hopefully the wind isn't too, too, too bad. Look what they did with this tree. They cut this tree down. It looks like a, a willow tree. And they fashioned a couple of seats into it. Isn't that awesome? Here's the uh, Fred and Barney seat. And this is the Betty and Wilma seats. <laughs> So, my friends, it is, let me see, uh, 4.24 p.m., so 4.30. It's an hour and a half longer than I expected it would take us to get here. Uh, but that's okay because it is still summertime and it's only 4.30 and we did 10 locks today. Wow. 10 locks, seven and a half hours left at 9 o'clock this morning. It's 4.30 now. Um, so, a full day of running. Uh, not a lot of distance covered as you saw in the video because we're not going at any great speed, but it was another hot, warm one. Beautiful conditions. Wind has just picked up over the last hour or so, and which is giving us a nice, gorgeous breeze. I was just saying, Anchor Girl, this would be a perfect spot for me to fly the drone. But I think it might be a little bit too windy for that machine, um, but that's okay as well. So I'm gonna end this video here for tonight. And saying I, again, I hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you enjoyed this segment of the trip. Uh, tomorrow we leave and we head further down, east and south and south and east to Trenton. And we're going to a brand new facility, Trent Port Marina, place we've never been to in the past. So looking forward to taking you along for that trip as well. Until then, as always, look forward to your comments and was a beautiful day. Happy to have you along for the ride. Cheers. Oh, I think I need a Corona. I think I hear Anchor Girl get me one. All right, that's it. I got to go. Really thirsty. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll subscribe so you don't miss any of the new boating videos coming out. You can also check out daily content on my Facebook and Instagram pages. So have a look at that. Now, if you'd like to support the channel a little bit more, check out my Patreon page to see how easy it is for you to help. And of course, you can head over to my main site at boatingwithboogaboo.com to find out all sorts of fun stuff. So again, thanks for following along. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for supporting the channel. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.